guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and boy, oh boy, do we have one heck of a dream sports car for you. It's this car right here. This is a 2023 Porsche Cayman 718, but guess what? This isn't your regular 718 Cayman. This is a GT4 RS. But before we get into this mid-engine 9,000 RPM screamer of a sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. Everybody knows when you say Porsche, your mind goes 911. Well, guess what? Back in 2006, Porsche came out with another sports car called the Cayman. The Cayman is essentially a Boxster, a Porsche Boxster, which is a drop top convertible that instead of having a drop top, the Cayman has a hard top. Now, what's fascinating is, is that a lot of people were kind of overlooking the Cayman because they felt that because of the price point it came in, it didn't have the accolades and that excitement of the 911. But here's what's fascinating. Because the Cayman is a mid-engine sports car, whereas the Porsche 911 is a rear-engine sports car, this actually has the potential to perform at a higher level than the mighty 911. Now, what's fascinating is, is that in 2016, Porsche came out with the GT4. But it wasn't exactly a true GT car because it did not have that flat six from the GT3, the 911 GT3 with the forged crankshaft and forged pistons and uh, uh, you know all of the other tech that came with that high revving 9,000 RPM engine from the GT3. What it did have is they took the engine out of the twin turbo base 911 took the turbos off, bumped up the displacement to four liters, and that's where you get that extra performance and that flat six naturally aspirated sound. Now this particular car, much different story when they came out with it just a couple years ago. This has the exact engine as the mighty 911 GT3. So you're gonna be getting individual throttle bodies, six of them because it's a flat six, and you have that 9,000 RPM redline. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for the king of performance sports cars, is this the way to go over the competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our Arctic Gray. This is a, was a new color that they just came out from Porsche, Arctic Gray GT4 RS, and find out. Right off the bat, the dimensions. I've always liked the Cayman, just proportion-wise, the way the body flows, and it just sits right. Now at the front of the business, you'll see that this vehicle has the upgraded adaptive headlight setup. So you're gonna have your projector beam headlight that actually moves with the steering wheel, and then you have your LED daytime running lamps, very, very familiar shape on the 718 Cayman. Working our way down, we have massive functional corner air curtains, gonna help bring cool air for the heat exchangers. I like the wire mesh finish. And then you'll see all the extra aero that the GT4 RS brings over the GT4. One of those things is gonna be that extra dive plane canard setup to help create downforce and clean up the airflow down the side of the vehicle. And you do get a splitter that actually comes out further than the GT4. Now, as we come across that low slung nose, I love the familiar look. Yes, it's a Cayman, but it also has some design cues from the Mighty 911. You'll see the wire mesh finish to help bring all that cool air and that massive splitter. Steven and I actually had our lunch right off this thing with the GT4 RS name stamped into it. And I really like the way they have this functional air intake on the top of the nose. So the air comes in, air is gonna be pulled out up and over that long hood. Now, this particular one has the Wysock package. And the name Wysock, if you've ever wondered what the heck is that, that is Porsche's test track over in Germany. So because this has the Wysock package, you actually have more goodies than your standard GT4 RS. One of those is gonna be the carbon fiber hood. They actually on the GT4 RS just give you a decal, not an actual badge for the Porsche Crest. I love how you can see all that beautiful carbon fiber. We have the twin NACA ducts. So the NACA ducts 
blow tons of air to help cool the brakes, but it's not gonna create a lot of drag like a regular scoop does. Now, along with the carbon fiber hood, you do have carbon composite fenders to help cut weight. And then as we come around the bend, look at what we have here. Absolutely digging these forged aluminum wheels. Now, what's great about them is that you have a very unique style, but I also love the color of this satin metallic blue. This is actually C Steven's favorite color. He loves Art de Grey, but he also loves these blue wheels. Now, because this is an RS, different from the GT4, it does have the center locking lugs, just like the GT3, just like race cars with the RS. You have your six piston Brembo calipers. This is the optional black. These normally come red. This one has been optioned with these wheels and with the black, gloss black painted calipers. Of course, a fully cross drilled two piece rotor. And this does, on top of that, come with PASM. What is that? Porsche Adaptive Suspension Management. So at all four corners, you have adaptive dampers that are gonna adjust depending on what you're trying to accomplish with this GT4 RS. I love the way, like I said, the arrow that we saw from the front on the side, you can see how it's gonna channel down. And then also up top, we have the arrow that's gonna come out the top of the fenders. Now the reason why they do this is because air can get trapped underneath the fender and at speed, it could cause lift. So what they do is they have these vents here to help relieve that pressure to keep it planted. And speaking of keep it planted, you can see we have 20 inch wheels up front, 245 on the width, 35 series sidewall. And let me know in the comment section if you're like Steven and you love these blue wheels. Let me know in the comment section. Now coming down the side, this right here is pure race car sexiness. This has been carved out to help channel the airflow down the side of the vehicle. This design element first appeared all the way back in 1996 on the mighty 911 GT1 race car that raced in the FIA series. Like to see that technology in my watch right now, the band popped out, so I need to fix that because I can't continue, that would bother me. But you have that great channel of airflow. I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around to show you how they carved that out and to also show you the GT4 RS badge. If you're wondering what the heck does RS stand for, it stands for Ren Sport or Racing Sport. We do have the optional carbon fiber mirror caps like the way that they went with that, especially with the carbon fiber hood. And then you'll also notice when you go Y-Sock, you're gonna get these carbon fiber air intakes, larger than the non-Y-Sock. And what's interesting is compared to all the other Caymans, I'm gonna actually gonna drop down and take a knee to kind of just ponder this for a second. Every single Cayman, the GT4, the GTS, all the other examples, this feeds air to the engine. On this car, it does not. It's actually for bringing air for cooling and also aerodynamic efficiency. This car, instead of having this to feed air to that flat six, I'm gonna rise back up because we have the Y-Sock package, you have these carbon fiber air intakes up top, which are actually larger than your non-Y-Sock package. And this is what's force feeding air into that mid-engine. And wait until I show you the engine compartment. It is a thing of beauty. Now on the rear setup, you're still gonna have 20 inch wheels. So we have 20 inch wheels, all four corners, but out back we have 295 on the width. And then of course, you're still gonna get the Brembo calipers. You got a limited slip diff with 383 gears. And this comes one way, and it's not the way I would want it, but it comes one way and that's with a seven speed PDK. No manual transmission. You gotta go GT4 if you want a manual transmission. But definitely, I just love every angle of this freaking car. As we rise back up, you got that beautiful rear fender coming into the rear taillight area. I love on the Y-Sock package, you're gonna get this carbon fiber, and you'll see the GT4S carbon fiber massive rear wing. You could have your Thanksgiving Day turkey right off of this. And you'll also notice how the wing is attached. This is that swan neck. They call this the swan neck. Here's the swan's head. That's the beak, that's the neck. This gives you just as much downforce as if the wing was sitting on top of the supports, but it creates a lot less drag. 
And that's what Porsche is good at, is taking that race car technology and design and bringing it into their street cars. This rear glass is Lexan, so it's actually thinner and lighter than standard glass. And the Wysock package gives you that Porsche script across the back. Speaking of the back, ah, baby got back and I'm loving it. Full LED taillights, nice clear lenses. Love the way you got that duck bill that kicks up to give you even more downforce. Porsche name that's been blacked out, GT4 RS. And then to finish it off, you get a unique rear diffuser area with a titanium on the white sock package, titanium exhaust, dual outlet. That's gonna let that flat six sound so good as it screams up to 9,000 RPM. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop this rear hatch and talk more about the power plant of this GT4 RS. All right, guys, we got the rear lift back up. Now, of course, you do have some storage, storage space. It's about five cubic feet. That also adds with the space in the front. I don't give a damn about those things. What I care about is right here. All that beautiful carbon fiber, the GT4 RS name, carbon fiber air box, dual carbon fiber air intake tubes. They look like freaking horns off of a bull. But what do we have? We have that mid-engine four liter flat six. It's got the forged crankshaft. It's got the forged pistons, the forged rods. It redlines, like I said, 9,000 RPM, 493 horsepower, 331 pound-feet of torque. It's all mated to a seven-speed PDK, only transmission available, zero to 60 in about 2.8 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 11.1 seconds. Top speed, 196 miles per hour. Now, if you care about MPGs, I got a Prius I wanna show you, but 15 in the city, 19 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs 3,200 pounds. So think about that. They really brought their A game. Porsche brought their A game and gave the fans what they wanted, essentially, a GT3 powered Cayman. That to me is mind blowing, but what's even more mind blowing is how this thing sounds. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire it up and hear the sound of that titanium exhaust. guys we are inside this 2023 Porsche Cayman 718 GT4 RS now 718 is the name of the chassis the chassis name back in 2016 when they came out with the very first GT4 Cayman GT4 that was the 981 chassis so that's where you're getting these extra numbers if you're getting a little confused now, if you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, how much is this one if I was to buy it? The way that this one is optioned has an MSRP right around $180,000. Let's see if you're gonna win this one, what you're getting, because I hope you're gonna win it, to the door panels. Love the extra touches. You got leather up top, the blue stitching to match the wheels, the optional carbon fiber, and you have the blue tether for the door handle. All the rest of that is what Porsche calls race techs, which is basically Alcantara. You do have a little Twinkie cargo net and a larger opening there where you could put a couple Bavarian cream donuts. That's what they have at the Nürburgring every session. Now going from the door panel to the dash, this is the first production Porsche vehicle to have a full race techs dash. So that's gonna cut down on the glare Love the carbon fiber, the Wysock RS badge. That's the actual track there. And this still has the older school edition cup holders, which from an engineering standpoint is very, very smart. There's no way in hell you're drinking in my GT4 RS or Stevens. Race techs on your glove compartment. You got another little 
cargo net down here for two more track day Twinkies. And then you'll see that up top, we have the sport chrono package with your chronograph clock up top, stopwatch. We do have the older seven inch infotainment system, but who cares? Because you're not gonna be using that very much. What I do like is you have real knobs, buttons, and a CD player, so you could get out Megadeth, Metallica, Slipknot, whatever you got, you could play it in there. But you're not, I'm, you're not gonna wanna do that in this car because the engine is what makes the sound, the music. We have dual climate control with real knobs and switches. This guy right here is gonna control your seven speed PDK. The reason why they don't use the eight speed is that the seven speed with one less gear is lighter. And this is all about going fast at the track. More carbon fiber. You do have some dead buttons, but I'm okay with that because it's got the good stuff. Your sport exhaust, you can put PDK in a sport mode, your PASM, obviously traction control off. Little tiny holder here with a uh, 12 volt and a place to put one Tootsie Roll, just one. More race techs, open this up. You got a place for an iPhone 47, Platinum Edition and a USB-A, and then the seats. This has the optional carbon bucket seats with the YSOC RS embroidery, all one piece seat. Only one adjustment is to raise it, the rest and go forward and backward. You cannot adjust the back of the seat. I like the way it's got the blue to match the blue wheels. And remember, right behind us is that four liter flat six engine. But why don't you go ahead, get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the wheel because I'm dying. I'm literally dying inside to go on throttle with you. Come on over. All right, guys, we're inside this business side of the GT4 RS. Love the carbon fiber. This is LED underneath that lights up to welcome you at night. Pedal box right out of a Porsche race car. Large dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. Seats, I'll be honest, they're gonna be hard getting in, but once you get in, you're gonna feel comfy. I promise you that. And then of course, you have that single button that allows you to raise the seat up and raise it down. The, other, other, the only other movement you have is to slide the seat forward or backwards. This one does have the optional blue seat belts to match the wheels and extra five horsepower. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here, plenty. Even with a helmet on, steering wheel, love the race techs all the way around. You got the yellow top dead center, no buttons, no radio controls, none of that crap, just a steering wheel, the way it should be. You have metal titanium paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that seven speed PDK. And then I love the dash. It's actually the older style with the analog tack and analog speedometer. You can see that red line is 9,000 RPM. And then you do have a nice little digital gauge cluster. Other than that, everything is just perfect. That you, I feel like I'm sitting in a perfectly made personal seat just for me. Like as if I have a pair of isotoner gloves. But I'm not gonna show you under the frunk there's a place you could put some backpacks there. What I want to show you is the on-throttle action in this GT4 RS. Let's go. All right, guys, we are inside this GT4 RS. I can't believe Dream Giveaway Garage has one of these, but hey, you get to be the lucky winner. And I will come to Dream Giveaway Garage to meet you and to film you winning your car if you wind up winning it. If a Radies Rides family member wins it, I will be there with bells on to be there with you. Now, sitting in this car, it just makes sense. Porsche makes sense, especially when it comes to visibility, when it comes to all of the touches. But what the best part is, is that flat six right behind me. So if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go on throttle and use the launch control. Left foot on the brake, right foot down. <laughs> the sound, the balance, the perfection.
You want to talk about a car moving your soul and just doing things to you that not many cars can do? This car brings it tenfold. Sitting in the seat, snug as a bug in a race car rug, feeling like every thought I'm having on inputs is automatically happening behind the wheel of this car. Paddles are perfectly placed. I am using the paddle to shift. You're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. And then the brakes, those six piston calipers just clamping down and allowing you to freaking just stop on a German Deutschmark and give everybody change. Naturally aspirated, flat six. The steering wheel is the perfect size. I don't need a flat bottom wheel. No buttons on it. I gotta do it. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> I absolutely love the Cayman. I mean, I love all the different trims. GTS is amazing. You don't have to go GT4 RS, okay? But if you're lucky enough to either win this or get one of these yourself, it is an amazing way to go. This is the, the, the chef's kiss, right? The chef's kiss when it comes to Porsche mid-engine performance. They did it. They took the 911 GT3 engine. They did it. They put it in this car and it is mind blowing. It turns your frontal lobe to mush because you can't wrap around your mind how it handles, how it shifts, how it breaks, and of course, how it sounds. Oh, it's right behind me, literally in the car with me. No other mid-engine car gives you that experience where the engine is in the car with you. We gotta do launch, we gotta launch it again. like a ballerina with huge biceps. That's the only way I could describe this car. It will put it, it will go wherever you want to place it on the road, on a track, on an autocross layout. It'll go exactly where you want it to go. And it just does it so well. It just does it so well. And to think that the 2025 Cayman is gonna be an EV, makes me wanna throw up. At least not throw up in this car, but as soon as I get out, I'm just gonna vomit just thinking about that. Are you ready? solid stable and remember that the suspension is all from the gt3 we got it we got it in this car the pdk is the transmission that all these other companies that come out with dcts and all this other stuff this is what they model it after this is what they aspire to be they aspire to be a porsche pdk transmission because the shifts are so fast, so smooth, and I really love using the paddles. It'll do, it'll shift just fine in automatic mode, but me personally, especially where the paddles are, 
it shifts so well, so freaking well. I don't want this day to end. This is like one of those days where I just wish it would go on forever. like you don't you're not even consciously at that conscious level it's like I'm on this different level where I'm watching myself drive and it just all happens so harmonious it is un freaking real what this car represents and to think that 2024 model year is, is the end of it it's over over shifts little windshield wiper action cold shower and I don't even smoke but I feel like I need a candy cigarette but we need to get back to dream giveaway garage uh, because I feel like uh, if I keep doing this I'm, uh, I'm I might get myself in some trouble so I'll see you back at dream giveaway garage this has been one hell of experience let's go wrap it up All right, guys <laughs> it's been another rip roaring on throttle day out here at dream giveaway garage I want to definitely thank Lori, Ryan, Chris, and the rest of the crew getting us access to this GT4 RS. If you want it, you could win it. And remember, if you spend $25 or more and use that promo code Radies Rides, you get double your chances and I don't get paid a dime to say that. Dream Giveaway wants a Radies Rides family member, and I do too, to win this thing. But let me know what you think. Lots of other sports cars, performance cars, supercars, whatever stupid name you want to call them today. Out of all of them, is this the king of the competition? Let me know down in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. We got to give it up. Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood Photography. He loved this one. The Arctic Gray, the blue wheels. This is exactly the way that Stephen would spec it. So I know he's going to try to win it. We'll see, Steven, if it's your lucky day. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.